Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be sharing another thing that I learned about the uh, Amazon API. Uh, for every order you download, you have to acknowledge the order. So you can either cancel the order because of a reason. In this case, it's 03, cancel out of stock. So that's going to be your, your description, what you're going to send back to Amazon. And then obviously you don't want to cancel, but if you have to, that's what you need to use. And in my case here, this example is we're going to submit 00, which means we're going to ship the order complete. So I'm going to show you what I did. First, the build acknowledgement. It takes a code and a description. So that's what we have here. Uh, it has the same idea as the other videos. Uh, here you need to submit. Uh, you need to somehow get your Amazon or the order PO that you grab from your Amazon order. So this is just a placeholder. Obviously, you need to change this to your uh, style of programming or getting things uh, done in your code. But this is just a template to give you an idea. And here we have the classes that we need to uh, initialize. And then we're going to pass, you know, the date when you're going to acknowledge it and then two string using the this uh, argument is the O in lowercase so make sure that's what you use is not the zero because zero looks way different than the O so it's a lowercase O and here's where the code is going to go either zero zero or zero three or a different code that Amazon allows in a description so just before I continue this uh, description I I got the description from the developer's uh, guide. I didn't make this up or the zero zero. That's not my, I didn't create this code. It's from Amazon just to make sure in case you have a question. And here you can see the description. The acknowledgement is taking this type of uh, object, as you can see here, and the PO, Amazon PO, and then the selling party, you always have to include this in your JSON. And if you notice, um, I made a note here that selling party and ship from party are, are in a different models too. So this is like a duplicate kind of thing, but I just made it separate. So just to keep that in mind, you can use a different, uh, a different class. If you notice in the project, there's, uh, I think the order has selling party somewhere. Yeah, right here, ship to party, and there's somewhere else, selling party. So you can use different, uh, you can keep using this one, it's fine. I've just kept it different in a different folder in case you're going to separate this into different uh, uh, solutions or any way you want to do it. But this is just an idea. It's not a perfect solution right now. But it will get you going. So the next thing you got to pass is the vendor order number. So you have to grab that from your system, database or anything else you're using. And here's the item. In my case, as this simple example, we only have one SKU in the order. Well, I'm pretending I only have one SKU. Obviously, you can make a loop here uh, so if you have multiple. So if you're passing your order object in here, make sure you can loop in here and then create multiple items. You can submit multiple items in the same acknowledgement. So in this case, it's just one. But if you wanted to, you could say for each. So you don't get confused. So if you had a collection here of some kind, you can do this. Where is it at right here? OK, so that what you can do is that oh, didn't paste it, but you could do this and add multiple items to this list. But in my case, this is how it usually works. Because orders usually have more than one. Even if you just have one SKU, you can do this. But I'm going to undo this to make it even more simpler. So I'm going to keep it like that. So one item. Uh, and then you need to submit your quantity. It says amount. It's confusing, but I don't know why. This class, that's how they want it. Amount. They don't want quantity. I don't know. You need to ask Amazon for that one. And then, you know, measurements each. 
uh, at least in my case. And then you need to provide your buyer product identifier. That's the item ID from your order. And there's a sequence. I think this is one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's all it is. But double check your order from Amazon. Make sure each item doesn't have some funky sequence. It could be one, six, 10, 11. So double check that. And then this is your vendor product, which is your SKU. And then you add that item that you just made to your item list of acknowledgement. And then your acknowledgement has items. And then that's your items from that list. And then you create uh, your acknowledgement, you add an acknowledgement. And I'll show you right now the, the, so the result. And right now, here's the acknowledgement for that acknowledgement list. So basically, you can you can acknowledge multiple orders in the same upload or in the same post. You can acknowledge multiple orders in the same with the same JSON. So I'm gonna run this before I run it. Here's just the acknowledgement submit, and as you can see, you need to get your access token. The same idea as before. And we're going to pause it here because I can't continue below. But it's the same thing as before in the previous videos. And then on this line, you don't have to have this line. This is just a line in case you want to grab the content of what Amazon will reply back. Because sometimes when you're testing, you kind of lose the data. If it goes in here, in this object, you can't save it. You could, but if it crashes, then at least you have the original uh, JSON file. So here I'm just creating a random like file name, a text file, and just dumping the whole content in it in case you want to review it later. And here we have the OK, accepted, or forbidden. So if, if it's forbidden, that means your token already expired. So that's where you submit and say, hey, give me a new token. In case you're using the apps uh, settings, option here you can use it and as you can see here uh, you can say app credit default asx token equals new token and i think that's the name that i have here it's not here but you can add it here and say let me see where is it access token you you can go like this save this and then when you run and you run out of and your token expires, then you can just call save at the end. And you can keep running your code. And then after that, you submit acknowledge with the same call. And then down here is just a description of different codes in case you need to catch those. And then just a catch error. So that's what it is. I'm going to run it. I think I already took too much time off from you. So I'm going to run real quick so you can see that JSON that you need to post. And obviously, you can change it any way you want the code, but the JSON needs to be this is the bare minimum that you need to have. So you can see it's an array or a list or, or acknowledgements. In the documents, I th think uh, it's wrong on the PDF, at least when I was doing it, or my version might be too old. But I did notice that I think this uh, is different from the PDF that I got from Amazon. And here's all the uh, data. So this is just one acknowledgement. And as you can see, the items, that's the code, the description, the sequence, your vendor SKU, and the quantity you're going to acknowledge. So hopefully, uh, this will give you another um, helpful video, helpful code, or something to get going. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll try to answer, you know, as much as I can. Obviously, if I had uh, the right credentials, I could run the whole code in this video, but I don't. So that's what makes it kind of difficult to make videos about Amazon, connecting to them, and showing data. So let me know if you have any questions again, and thank you for watching. Take care.